Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So today I wanted to go over with you a couple of tips on harvesting and then curing and storing your onion crop. Uh, you know, if you just grow a few onions, you might just pull them as you need to use them. But uh, if you want them to keep longer, then you need to cure them. So we'll go over uh, what to look for to harvest and then how to cure them. So. Step one, of course, is harvesting. Uh, when, you, when your onions are ready to harvest, you'll see them, the tips of the stalks will start to turn brown. Uh, and a lot of times, as you see with some of these, they flop over. Uh, and then also, you're kind of at the bottom of the stem here, right above the onion, will get kind of soft. And that's what you're looking for, those three things. Then you know your onions are ready to be harvested. Now, onions can stay in the ground longer and you can kind of pull them uh, as you need them, but you don't want to leave them in too long. Uh, so a good way to help them keep longer is to harvest them, cure them, which is basically letting them dry out for a two to three week period. And then you can store them uh, a number of different ways and we'll go over all that. So I'm gonna harvest uh, these. These are uh, a sweet onion that I have here, these Globo onions that have done really well for me this year. And when you're harvesting them, you wanna keep the stems on. You just pull up the whole thing like this. Okay, so now once you have your onions harvested, you wanna put them in a place where you can cure them or dry them out. Uh, you can do it in a shed, uh, in your garage, you know, just some place that's gonna keep them uh, dry and where it has good airflow. Um, I have a work shed out here, my woodworking shed. It's kind of a mess right now, but I'm gonna store mine out here. I have this uh, portable table thing that I'm using today. And uh, I'll put a link for this below. Uh, I've used this for the last few years, but it works well for if you need to have a portable uh, table base to move around. Uh, like you can put a piece of plywood on it um, and then voila, you have a table. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing right now, except for I'm not gonna put a piece of plywood on it. So what I'm using here is just some two by twos with hardware cloth attached to it uh, in a framework. And um, this is leftover from my old chicken coop, the old roofing system that I used to use to keep uh, hawks and owls out of. You, know, you gotta see that, but uh, this I know will work for a lot of good airflow around my onions while they're drying out. Uh, but you can also just put them on like your garage floor on some cardboard or newspaper or on a shed floor. You don't have to have something that's like this, um, but I have this, so that's what I'm, I'm using. But whatever area that you choose to use, you just wanna lay out your onions so that they are separated, not um, you know all on top of each other give them enough room to get airflow around. And then every couple of days, you wanna go out and kinda of just turn them a little bit so they get proper airflow and are able to dry out all the way around even, evenly. So how long does this process take? About two to three weeks for them to dry out. What you're looking for is for those green stalks to become dried out and brown basically. And then around the onion itself, you'll get like those papery skins. So the, the outer skins of the onion should kind of become 
dry and papery, maybe a little brownish color, but it really depends on the variety that you're using. They might be purple if you're doing the red onions or purple onions, uh, but about two to three weeks. Once that's done, then you can cut off the green tops, leave about maybe about a quarter inch of the top, uh, but cut off the green tops and then store them in a dry place. Uh, a good thing to keep them in are like these mesh onion bags. I'll put a link below for these. Uh, they come in different sizes. I got the small ones. I think these are like 11 by 18. So, you know, I'll need a few of these to keep all my onions in. They have a little tag on there so you can write the variety and date on there if you want. Uh, and then you can hang them up in whatever place you are storing them. Now, once they've been cured, best temperatures to store them at is about 45, maybe, four, four, let's just say 40 degrees Fahrenheit up to 55 degrees Fahrenheit is best for long-term storage. Now, my basement, also you want it to be dry. And my basement tends to run around 60 to 63 degrees um, most of the year and has a higher bit of humidity. So mine won't store as long. And so that's um, you know something that I have to work with. The other thing too is the variety that you have uh, will determine the length of time that it keeps. So sweeter onions that are less pungent will not store as long as your more pungent uh, type of onion. So like the kind of sulfurous uh, smells <laughs> or aromas that come out of onions that make you cry when you cut them. And you know, some onions are stronger than others and might kind of get that, that tear, the, your tear ducts working. Um, the more pungent onions will keep longer than your sweet, less pungent onions. There's an old adage that says, the more they make you weep, the longer they'll keep. And so that's just something to keep in mind. So like my, these sweet onions, once they're cured and stored in a proper temperature and dry place, they'll probably keep up to about three months. Whereas like my red onions and other pungent varieties can store up to a year and be safely used. Now, because I am dealing with uh, not quite cold enough temperatures in my basement and a little bit higher humidity, mine won't store as long. So a couple other options that you can do is maybe, you know, if you don't have a root cellar or something that stays around the 50 degree mark and somewhere in, in that temp range, um, and you're, you know that your onions are not gonna keep as long, you can also dehydrate your onions. I mean, you buy minced onions in the store, make them out of your own garden. You can do them in a food dehydrator and maybe in your oven, depending on how low the uh, temperature gets in your oven. You want to dehydrate onions at about 125 degrees. It can take anywhere from three to 10 hours, uh, depending on the moisture level in your onions and the variety and that sort of thing. But basically you want them to kind of be dry and snap clean before you store them away after dehydrating. Another option is you can always freeze onions. You can dice them up. Uh, and then store them in uh, Ziploc or, you know, if you've got a vacuum sealer in different bags, put them in your freezer and they're good for up to six months in there and probably even longer if they've been vacuum sealed. And so those are a couple other options that you can use if you are running out of time for storing them just as a, in, like in a hanging bag. So that's kind of harvesting and curing onions. Uh, so now I have to wait two to three weeks and then I'll come out and I will bag mine up. I will keep them in the basement for a while, but at some point, depending on how fast we use them, I'll be switching over to either freezing what's left or dehydrating them. And so there's always those other options so that you can continue to enjoy the onions that you grew in your garden, you know, deep into the winter and depending on how many you grow into the next spring until your next uh, and summer until your next harvest comes ready. You know, just eat your own homegrown onions the whole year long. So I hope you found that information helpful. But whatever's going on in your neck of the woods, uh, I hope it's going great for you. And let me know how you do your onions. You know, how, how do you store them? How do you cure them? What experiences have you had? Put some comments down below. But I hope that you're having a great day. And thanks for hanging out with me again today. We'll see you again soon. Namaste.